Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. Today I'm going to be telling you about the hands for my Iron Man suit. If you want to see how I made the rest of a suit, then have a look on my website, which is xrobots.co.uk. So the basic plan is to make armoured hand armour for the Iron Man suit. And we'll see in the palm of each hand is the repulsor, which is going to be represented by some LEDs. I got these boards on um, eBay for about £2.19 each in UK money. They're advertised as a G4 base surface mount LED cluster. Um, so I've got four of them. They run directly off 12 volts. They've got some regulation and so on on the back. So I've got a 12 volt battery here. They're incredibly bright. You can get one with 20 LEDs on as well. So if I just attach that to 12 volts, just turn the light off. Um, they're extremely bright indeed. Actually meant as um, effectively a replacement for light bulbs on boats and in caravans and so on. So the basic plan, as with all the pieces, um, with the armor pieces is to have them detachable from the undersuit so the rest of a suit if you have a look on the website or you have a look at my previous videos there's a metal frame that's worn under the armor and all the pieces latch on with magnets so the plan is to do the same thing for the hands I've already made the piece that goes on the back of the hand um, it needs some details cutting in because there's a, supposed to be a division in it um, but basically that goes on the back of the hand so I've got some gloves to wear underneath which are black which match the one-piece suit I have for the rest um, rest of the armour. And um, as you can see, these LEDs fit quite neatly into the palm of your hand. So there'll probably be some sort of metal um, or wire kind of thing that holds those in place. So you put this on first and a, a cage system with all the wiring attached. Um, and that will give something basically for the back of the hand to latch onto. In fact, I believe it's going to be attached to the cuff of the armour, uh, possibly to both the back of the hand and the cuff. Haven't really decided yet. But on the front, obviously, surrounding the light will be some form of palm armour. And then, obviously, the fingers need to be put on separately, which you'll be able to see outside the uh, armour for the back of the hand. So basically, there'll be a, a sort of wire thing that's attached with Velcro that holds the LED cluster and also gives something for the fingers to attach onto and the thumb. So the way I'm going to do that is by life casting the palm of my hand, uh, making a plaster cast, then making a sculpt of the palm of the hand, making a mould from that, another solid cast, and then vacuum forming a shell. So basically, I'm making a piece of palm armour which holds the LED cluster and it fits me perfectly. So it's time to life cast my hands and for that I'm going to be using alginate which is um, basically a life casting compound which is skin safe. It's the stuff the dentist puts in your mouth to make a cast of your mouth to make um, uh, if you're having a crown fitted or something like that. So it's skin safe, it's actually made from seaweed. All you do is mix it with water and it goes off in about four minutes so you have to be pretty quick. So I'm going to mix up two packs of that. I've got two 550 gram packs, which I got from eBay in the UK. Um, I've got two trays, one for each hand. So I'm going to put the stuff in, put my hands in, and basically make an impression of my palms that I can cast in plaster to do the clay sculpt over. So I'm just going to mix that up in a bucket with some water. I've probably got far too much, but it's better than not having enough. It won't stick to itself once it's set, so you really do need to make sure you've got the right quantity so you can do it all in one go. Right, it smells quite nice. It's quite minty smelling. And I've just dumped a load of water in there straight out of the tap. going to mix this around. This is chromatic alginate that changes colour um, as it sets. It starts off white and it turns pink through purple. So you have to be pretty quick as I say it goes off really quickly. 
Zeit. Let's turn pink, which means it's ready to go. Just trying to get the last out of there. And let's put my hands in, so should be able to get a good impression of both hands. I want as much of the palm as possible. Not too bothered about the fingers, although I want them for scale. Right, so I think what in fact is supposed to happen is you mix it and it turns dark purple and as it goes off um, it becomes lighter, so you can see around my fingers there, it's gone white and the whole lot is going to a light pink eventually when it's set completely through it will go to um, white all over I'd imagine. Um, I use cold water, if you use hot water it'd probably go off a bit quicker but anyway it feels quite firm so I'm pretty sure I can get my hands out so let's just try... Oh yes that's quite good. Carefully getting my hand out of there. There we go, and I'll just... Yeah, that's really quite firm all over. It's obviously airtight on my hands. There we go, so we've obviously uh, got the whole cast there with my fingers and everything. So the next step is to mix up some plaster and pour that in there and make two casts. So I've got my big bucket of random plaster, whenever I have plaster packets that um, almost at the end I pour it in here. So I've got a combination of um, some yellow dental stone, some herculite and whatever. Um, generally plaster is mixed at um, a third water by weight to the weight of the plaster, so far less water. Um, but as you mix plaster you get used to doing it, so I'm just going to do it by hand until it's the right consistency and pour it in and make two casts. As you can see, the alginate's gone off now, completely white, so I think it must have been that it goes purple when you mix it and slowly gets white as it sets. It's really very rigid, um, so that's quite good quality stuff. So let's put some plaster in here and some water. Hopefully I can do the whole mix for both in one go. Normally people say mix the plaster into the water, but um, Whichever really. You need to have a thick, smooth, creamy consistency, so if it's really watery, um, that's no good. Now I tend to, to uh, mix plaster by hand, with my hands sometimes, and I've not had any problems. It is gypsum based, so and it does get hot as it sets. So you should never encase your hands or any body parts into plaster. Um, a small amount of plaster on probably won't hurt you, but uh, obviously if I submerge my hand in there and let it set, it can get up to 60 degrees, so that can burn you. So that's why we always use alginate for life casting and not uh, putting plaster directly onto skin, which wouldn't actually give us the results that we want anyway in this case. Still feels a bit thin, so right. So that feels about right. Should have enough there for both. sure that goes into all the fingers without any air. So try and get that in there. Let's see if we can get any air bubbles out. Actual fingers have air in but uh, we'll do the best we can.
Right, there we go, what a mess. We'll just let that set up and then we should be able to break the algin off and that should leave um, two plaster impressions of my hands. I'm just gonna wash my hands before that sets up. Right, so it's a bit later. The plaster's gone off. Um, basically, plaster sets up quite quick in about 15 minutes or so. Uh, once the water's dried out, it'll be much stronger, but um, basically it's good enough to turn these out now. So, uh, let's turn this over. So if I can get these dishes off. And then we should be able to break off the alginate and hopefully I've got an impression of my hand that's fairly reasonable. So be careful with this. Oh well, lost a couple of fingers, but anyway, didn't really need them, as long as I've got the palm. Yeah, I've lost the... whoops, there goes one, never mind. Anyway, I'll clean that up a bit later. Well, there we go, so there's the palm of my hand. So here are both the hands. The right hand came out much better, as you can see, with all its fingers attached. There's actually quite a lot of detail in there. As I say, I'll put some close-up pictures on the website. So the next stage will be making the clay sculpts of the palm on each one, which will be in the next video. You can check out the website for the whole project, which is xrobots.co.uk.